Hello guys I wish you a warm welcome to Usitility. Today we are on the way to discover how to launch and play car parking multiplayer on PC. From now you are able to watch it on screen. It will be possible to easily download and set up car parking multiplayer so that we can play the game on the Windows computer using our gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and large monitor. Then without further ado, let's get to it. First of all my friends, the first thing to do is to launch our main internet browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's go to the current URL that I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you are able to discover on the screen. You don't need to type it, because I provided a clickable link in the video description and as well in the first pinned comment. We landed right here on our Usitility internet site, where we have a comprehensive description on just how to download and install car parking multiplayer on computer. We scroll down a bit and also click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on that link, we land here on the website of LD Player. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we will load to get access to the game car parking multiplayer on our PC. It is now obvious that we get some pros of using this emulator. Custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, etc. Then, we are on the way to proceed to download the car parking multiplayer by clicking on this button download car parking multiplayer on PC that I have marked in green color. We then click on it. And the download starts and ends immediately. Here it is, here is located the download. It is an executable file. What we are going to do now is to launch the installer, so we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the device. We have clicked yes. I reduce the web browser to view the installer considerably better. The installer is very simple to use. It includes two possibilities, install and setup path. I will talk about what setup path does. We just click on it. And now we discover that we have now here the path where in fact the emulator can be placed. If we plan to change this directory we need to click on the Browse button. And now we pick another directory and set up the emulator specifically where we wish. To keep it simple, just set it as it is. Then, I click on Back. So I pick Install. Right now, before you start installing the emulator, will also be possible that it's going to suggest us one or more computer software offers to set up on our laptop. Because I do not want any of those software program, I only click each time on the reject button. Voila! The install begins and it will progress in the download of all these megabytes which are shown on that screen. Once you download it, it may be a bit more or less MB. The data transfer speed might go at a higher speed or slower, determined by your type of access to the web and according to the speed capacity of the emulator servers. Immediately they are working extremely fast. The download is completed, so at this time it proceeds with the setup procedure. The setup will take more or less time according to the power of your personal computer. The more powerful it actually is, the shorter the software installation time and or vice versa. If we join the download and setup stage it usually takes a considerably long time, so show patience. It is by now finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has actually been launched instantly. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar that will fill up then when it gets into the end, the emulator is going to be launched for the first time. The truth is the emulator is already launched. Here it is for the very first time. Then LD Store is by default launched, which is a sort of Google Play. It is not the best way to set up the game, and therefore I don't suggest it, given that sometimes the LD Store sets up an old version of the video game. I am going to reveal the way to set up the Android game by utilizing the Google Play so I recommend you to do it this way. The very first thing we will have to perform is to go to the computer's desktop by simply clicking on this software icon that I am pointing out in green. Before we carry on, as you understand, it made two app icons there on the computer desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player icon is definitely the one we are considering. When we desire to run car parking multiplayer on the laptop or computer, we double-click on this specific software icon and therefore run the emulator. The LD Multiplayer icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or even nearly anything such as that, in fact, it is an icon that we may almost certainly never work with. Why don't we make the following step, which is a must-have, and this is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. To do that we will browse here to, System Apps, we click. And we will mouse-click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is presented. There we need to log on. At this time the moment we are here, we must absolutely conduct this next step that is obligatory. Therefore we simply click on, Sign In. At this moment it announces, Checking Info. It may from time to time get stopped at, Checking Info, additionally it isn't going to move forward. If that's the case, you should try to log in in after a number of hours and it will surely very likely be fixed. At this moment we shall type in our email and password. The email address is required to be a Gmail email and its related password. For example you may use the exact same email address you are using at the moment in your own YouTube account. 
Thus, I am going to type in my information and I'll go back immediately after I have completed it. That's all. Information inserted. This is Google welcoming us and presenting us their twos. We are going to approve them simply by hitting, I agree. Following, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can keep it selected it's going to create a backup of the data on this device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. From now Google Play is presented as favorite choice and automatically. However, if the Google Play is simply not presented automatically and you have no idea how to launch it by hand, I explain how to get it done. First thing is to go to the emulator desktop by clicking this software icon designated in green. At present we navigate to the system apps folder. And we click the Play Store icon. Fine, I am there inside Google Play. What we intend to perform right now is go here to search for apps and games. So we are going to look for car parking multiplayer. Presently there we have got it, we should choose the first result. Right here we access to the video game. Why don't we mouse click now on the install link that I'm displaying now in green. Therefore it will initiate the setup. At this moment it is going to download on your laptop or computer and set up the game, it will take some time or it could possibly be extremely fast. That all depends on the internet access. It's actually ended installing. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on that button I'm emphasizing in green, that allows you to launch car parking multiplayer for the first time. We're at present on the emulator desktop, and consequently we are on the way to simply click the new car parking multiplayer app icon that's been created. This Android game is launched for the first time. Here we end up with it, I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the volume level of the emulator. This is right here. We use the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume, this way we won't rely on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of this emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the max, we can activate the large monitor, for which we have two options. That is simply the first one, we click on that app icon which I am identifying in green. Then the display screen is maximized, coming with one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. Assuming that we aspire to experience the game using all the screen, we click that icon. And we'd by now be enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen function. To exit the 100% screen mode, push the F11 key. And then we would undoubtedly at present be in standard display screen setting. At this moment I am ready to present you the keyboard mapping and that is definitely rather interesting. This means we will certainly be capable to utilize the game app more effortlessly. The first point is to click this application icon. It's now time to get the necessary setups. I most certainly will put the default configuration, but if you like to modify it, you can easily do it with no problem. I just take this moment to comment that from time to time, when launching the Android game a dark screen appears, if that is so and you notice the black screen and the emulator fails to start, I propose a quite possible alternative. We should hop on over to the cogwheel. Within the emulator preferences, in the advanced choice we have quite a lot of screen resolutions. The following is the resolution we have presently chosen as favorite choice and we must select any of these other resolutions, for instance that one down below. We pick it and after that press save. It will probably tell us to reboot the emulator and when restarted, most likely the emulator will commence and this black display will disappear. Clearly, the emulator is absolutely in our language. From time to time it occurs that your emulator is presented in the wrong language, as an example, in Chinese language. And therefore to set it up in the correct language we click here to the cogwheel. Then right here inside of other configuration settings, we click the language drop down. We may very well choose the language we prefer, Spanish, Chinese, and so on. When the language is decided, we would save, the emulator will reboot, along with the video game, next time we run it, will of course be in the specified language. At this point, you will find another element that we must take into consideration, and this is that we will get an email telling that a brand new machine has been linked to our Google account. It will certainly ask us if we're the individuals who have connected that device. That's right, we must not be troubled, considering the fact that emulator is behaving like a an Google Android device. In order to identify which electronic device is being emulated, we come back right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. And so we browse here to the, model, choice. And here we realize that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for this tutorial. I hope that you appreciated it, specifically that you found it helpful. If that's the case, offer it a great thumb up, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer all your feedback, concerns or suggestions, put them in the comment field down below. You could possibly also comment things on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams from time to time, you have it down below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click on any of the training videos that are appearing on the computer screen and see you in the future training videos. Bye.